entire group. So I mean, organize such a big, beautiful program. We have been talking a lot for the last six months. And I kept on telling Sushila Ji that uh, technical analysis is my life. Take that subject out of me, deep zero. Because for the last 20 years or so, I've been working for not less than 15, 20 hours a day. Really on this It's my dream that this subject should be introduced at the university level, not only in this state, but also all over the country. Because I know the potential of this subject, I know the worth of this subject, I know the strength of this subject. Today, my friends, it's very difficult to say that I'm going to give you some information. No, I'm not here to give you any information, I'm just going to share my experience with you. Basically, it's disturbing. Is it okay? Is it okay? slightly moving away from the subject initially. My friends, Vedic literature has always influenced me throughout my life. And I believe that the foundation of any subject is beautifully described by the writers of Vedic literature. When we say that the whole universe is governed by the laws of nature and there is no exception to it. The natural force which makes this whole cosmic system work effectively is only responsible for that item to work with its nucleus and electrons and protons. Now, once we accept that, how can we say that the system doesn't work here in case of our subject, technical analysis? Laws of nature are more compact at the fundamental levels. What we see is just the expression of those laws at the superficial level. In Vedic literature, people have written that any subject, this is written in the context of Ayurveda, that any subject is studied at three different levels. At the level of Vyavahar, Prey, at the level of Shastra, Science, and more deeply, is Tattva, principle. Now that's the label where the laws of nature become more common. And as we move up to the scientific and to the Vyavaharic level, laws of nature become more vulnerable and we just can't understand the impact of it. My point is, friends, that nothing can be difficult, nothing can be complicated if we reach down to the level of principles. Technical analysis is a simple subject. I am not trying to tell you that. I don't have any authority to tell you that. I can only really say that this is my experience. It may be complicated because instead of focusing on price, we keep focusing on innumerable indicators. 
and these indicators for the ship. I have a very high respect for engineers, very high respect. I appreciate the kind of intelligence and the uh, analytical skills these engineers have. But engineers also have that uncanny knack of converting everything, putting everything into a form of a matrix. And then algorithms. They, have, they start working at the super PG at the level of Prebhahar. And in the process what happens, you lose your connectivity to the principle. And that's the reason why the subject becomes complicated. I distinctly remember about 20 years ago when I brought my first book on technical analysis. Technical analysis of stock trade by Maggie and Edwards. The book was not available here. I had to import it. I remember 3,500 rupees was a big amount at that time. Okay, what has happened is, you can download that book without paying a single rupee. There is a flood of knowledge, uh, information, not knowledge. And technicians do what? They try to assimilate everything possible and they become more of experimenting technicians rather than understanding the foundation of things. I know that talking to the masters, I know that person like Vintage is sitting there, but then that's my experience. And then we take wrong decisions. Sequential charting is one way of looking at the charts. It's not a strategy. It's not a surefire system. Because I believe strongly, and this is one sentence which I feel I should get registered in my name, that as you change the way you look at the charts, the charts you look at change. I think all of you will agree with me. And what to do about it? How to, how to change that way? So I was saying as you change the way you look at a chart, the charts you look at change. Today I am going to show you something known to you, nothing new. As a researcher, my entire focus is on this. This is one area where the majority of the technical analysts who attain my work the workshops and the programs. They feel that within one day you will get some secret and the life will change. It doesn't happen. Single trend line can be your strategy and it works more effectively than you are any other. One moving average, people will say it's a lagging or a lagging unit. Can change your whole way of looking at the job. We forget the basics. And the basics are the sequential charting that a chart starts forming at the level of T chart. Yes or no? A T is a beginning. And we have a T chart. Next, maybe one minute chart. And you start getting your eye open close. Maybe five minute chart. And then the process starts till the Decadal charts. Now if this process continues, then chart formation is a process which goes in one direction. So even if you are a tenier, you are on a tenier chart, the closing price is a T chart for a price. Yes or no? Which means the link is properly established. And all of us, all of us follow this method. Going, sequential. <coughs> you chartists remain focused on one time. And your performance is bad. That's the reason 
the man who has practiced one week 10,000 times. And as a technician, I would say, I care not a technician who has practiced 10,000 techniques once, but I respect a technician who has practiced one technique. One this is the secret. In research, this is something that I have learned. Generally, what happens? Information is available in your curriculum also. Lot many techniques are there. And you feel you know this. Take a small case of uh, Steve Nissan's book on candlestick chart. Complete. 